guys welcome to today's video today we are going to be looking at personification the learning objective for today is can I define identify and give examples of personification now what is personification you may have heard this word quite a lot when we are looking at uh, poems in reading and when we do some writing now personification is when you give human qualities to an object to something that's non-living can you think of any human qualities well here's an example the pie was calling her name now a human quality here is calling because only humans can call somebody's name the pie can't so in this instance the pie has been given a human quality here, the door protested as it closed. Again, doors can't protest, only humans can. And in this case, the door has been given a human quality. Let's have a look at another example. The wind sang her mournful song through the falling leaves. I want you to stop, pause and think about why is this personification. This is personification because wind cannot sing, only humans can sing. Let's have a look at another example. The rain kissed my cheeks as it fell. Stop, pause and think, why is this personification? This is personification because rain cannot kiss. Only humans can kiss. Let's have a look at example three. The water beckoned invitingly to the boiling hot swimmers. Beckoned means gesture. So it, the water has gestured invitingly to the boiling hot swimmers. Why is this personification? This is personification because water cannot beckon. That means that the water cannot give gestures. Only humans can beckon or only humans can give gestures to invite the boiling hot swimmers to come to the water. Now, a lot of the time in literacy, you are asked to identify literary devices. Now, personification is a literary device because it, ha because it has an effect on the reader. It is another writing technique that we use to engage our readers and make our stories sound really effective. So what effect does the use of personification have on the reader? Writers can help the reader make an image of something in their minds when they use personification. By using a human characteristic for an object, it is easy to recognise because it's effective to create some impact on the reader. Now I've got a poem here that I want to read out to you and then I want you to identify personification in this poem. So the title of this poem is Storm at Sea and the poet is Alexander Reykjavik. So while I am reading, I want you to listen very carefully and see if you can identify personification. In the great old storm, the thunder goes bang, bang, bang. It is like a beating drum. It is as loud as firing gun at the start of a race. It is an enormous earthquake. The thunder is furious at the world. Bang, bang, bang. In the great old storm, the wind goes whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. It is like a howling wolf. It is as cold as ice from the Arctic. It is a wild whistle blowing high and low. The wind is singing a deadly song. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. 
In the great old storm, the waves go crash, crash, crash. They are as tall as towering buildings in a city. They are like fists pounding the surface. They are blue bulldozers of the sea. The waves are waving sailors goodbye to Davy Jones' locker. Crash, crash, crash. Did you identify any examples of personification? Okay, let's have a look. The thunder is furious at the world. Now, only humans can get furious, not thunder. So that's one example. The wind is singing a deadly song. Can the wind sing? No, only humans can sing. The waves are waving sailors goodbye to Davy Jones' locker. Can the waves wave? No, only humans can wave. So there's another example of personification. Now, after you have done your text innovation, which means you have found the features in the text, most of the time you are asked to write um, personification, examples of personification in your writing. Now I want you to look at this picture to create a setting. So use this picture to create the setting. What objects can you see in this picture? So I've got some words here for you that you could use. I've got ship, ocean, waves, sky and clouds. What might these objects do? Here we've got human qualities. We've got scream, shiver, ate or eat, swallow, gasp and cry. Now I want you to write some examples of personification for me using the words from the word bank from the objects and what the objects might do. So I want you to pause the video and write down three examples for me. So I've written down some examples here of my own. I have written, the ship shivered. The clouds gasped as they heard the ocean screaming. So in this uh, sentence, I've got two. The clouds gasped, the ocean screaming. Lastly, the waves ate the boat. Can the waves eat? No, but it's the image and the effect I want to create for my reader about this image here. It doesn't seem like the ship is 